What's going on, guys? Welcome to Define Agile. My name is Anatoly, and we're talking everything Agile, Agile tools. Today, we're talking about Jira and uh, answering your question, how to find all the unassigned issues of the project. Let's say you have a big project. There's a lot of things, and some of the things are assigned, some of the things are not, and you want to find all the issues that are unassigned. Uh, it can be part of a sprint, it can be not part of a sprint. I'll show you how to do this in a very, very easy way. So we are in a Scrum project right now. We're looking at the backlog. And um, let me show you how to find our assigned issues. Before we do, I have a couple of things I want to tell you. Thing number one, if you want to learn Jira in about one day. Yeah, you heard me right. One day. You can go to the description, check out my course. It will allow you to learn Jira from beginner to advanced. If you are completely stuck and you need somebody uh, somebody to help you, you can book time in my calendar. So I'm going to sit down with you live and help you with your issues. Go to the description, find the Calendly link and book yourself to my calendar. And finally, if you are stuck and your company needs an agile transformation or onboarding on Jira, Jira maintenance, Jira support, please go to financial.com, schedule a consultation. Let's see how we can help you. And now let's get to unassigned issues. All I do is I click on search. And then I go to advanced issue search. And you should remember advanced issue search. Uh, it's very, very useful. This allows you to filter by anything you want. And if you click switch to basic, you don't even have to know JQL, which is a query language. Quick switch to basics, assignee, and you can click unassigned. You can select your project. Let's say this one. You can click search. And here you go. It will show you all the unassigned issues of a project. It can show you for all the projects, for a modern project, anything you want. And understand that's not always the case you want. Sometimes you are looking at the board and you just want a quick filter of what's unassigned. And that's about it. And I can show you how to do that as well. I'll show you how to do that in the active sprint board, how to quick a quick filter as well. But I just want to show you this interface because it allows you to search for anything very, very quickly. I think it's very, very powerful. You can use JQL as well. So you can select something, let's say unassigned, project all, um, and then you can switch to JQL and you see what's the query language. Then you can copy and paste it somewhere else if you want to some, uh, some quick filters and stuff like that because they require they require Jira query language. So let me copy that and let's go to our project again and I'll show you how to create a quick filter. So go to projects, we select a project and see we're an active sprint and quick filters, things like that. Stale issues, issues in progress, only my issues. So all of this were created and you can click on it and it will show you stale issues, the issues that haven't been touched for a while, only my issues, it will show only my issues, none of them are mine. How to create one for unassigned, let's say. So you go to board settings, three dots, board settings. You go to quick filters. And here, see so you need this um, Jira query language. So we already did that, so I copy paste. Assignee is empty. I don't need anything else. And I just need to create a name, unassigned. I click add. It added, I go back to my active sprint. See now it has too many of them, so that's why there's like a quick filter bar now. Let's assign one. So I'll assign it to myself. So I have one that is assigned and two unassigned. I go to quick filter, I click unassigned. And it only shows me unassigned now. And this one shows subtasks. Not all of them show subtasks. There's a way how to show subtasks on a board. There's a way how not to show subtasks on a board. I'll probably create a video how to do that as well. Uh, hope it helps. If you think it brought you value, please like and subscribe because those videos are coming about every week. So definitely benefit from it. And thank you for watching. See you next one. Bye-bye.